So I don't know about you guys, but I feel like uh, the channel's moving in a good direction and I'm feeling good. I've been having uh, lots of time to put into these videos. I've been scheduling it up, working with brewers and that type of thing to bring you some, go some good uh, content. So let's continue that this week with Root & Muddles Texture Spray. We'll dive right into this one. Now, if you guys don't know, Root & Muddle is a brother-sister duo out of New York City. Now, just looking at this right away, a little different than our pomade reviews, but we're gonna try and see how this goes. We see we got an almost milky looking substance. That must be the infusion of the different clays, salts, that type of stuff. Label is very clean. Everything is easy to read, easy to see exactly what it is. No screwing around. It looks very well done and uh, works very well. Glass jar, very nice. Only problem I've had so far is my sprayer does get stuck, but can't complain too much about that. Overall, good size, good packaging, feels like quality stuff. Now, scent on it is kind of like a salt, so nothing to really dive into there. Um, just before I jump into this, I don't know if you guys know, I'm a geologist by trade with some data science background, but the different ingredients in this, mainly clays and salts, I don't know if you guys know this, but we're gonna give you a little bit of facts on different clays just to provide some more content. This one has a little bit of bentonite and kaolinite. Give you a little difference between the two of them. Bentonite, um, just like kaolinite, is a clay mineral. Now, clays are simply identified by their size and the actual composition of them changes what the clay actually is. Bentonite absorbs a lot of moisture. So that's when you get that um, like plumpness to your hair. It's generally bentonite doing that. Whereas kaolinite has more of a silica compound, gives you a little bit more texture and that type of sorts. Just a little background on who I am, what I do. Now what we're gonna do is, there isn't a whole lot to go through in terms of scent and application. I've got semi-damp hair, but we're gonna go all out with this one. Apply it liberally to the hair so we can see exactly what it's doing. Now, being my first uh, review for a spray, although I did the O'Dowd's one, but that was more for tips and tricks. It was less a review. Also, if you guys didn't know, I did win the O'Dowd's contest. I'm excited to go to New York City. We'll bring you lots of content along the way. Hair's damp. We can feel the clays and the salts within it. Not too oily or anything like that. We're gonna blow dry and see how performance is from there. I'll check you guys out right after this. So now that my face is all red and our hair is all dry, can take a look at what we got here. So overall, hair has way more texture. It feels fuller. It's a little bit more matte than my actual natural hair sheen. That's a, a thing. So overall, it did exactly what we want. We don't want... Now this is personal for myself with sea salt sprays. I don't really want something that smooths the hair. With a sea salt spray, texture spray, I want something aggressive and dry, but does create a little bit of tackiness to give it some, some presence, hold, and body. And that's basically what we get here. There's no added sheen. Um, just giving you a personal idea of how it works. Um, some sea salt sprays will actually, they, they include oils and things like that. And initially you'll get a nice matte style, kind of like what we have here, but those oils start to work with your 
uh, post styler. With the root and muddle one, we don't have any problems with that. This essentially just keeps the hair natural and from here, styling would be a breeze. I would only need something a little bit more of a medium hold just to give us some control, keep the volume, keep the body, keep it looking essentially effortless. So Root and Muddle did a great job of mixing different volcanic ashes, clays, sea salt sprays. Uh, another great positive besides easy washout because there's no, again, no oils or anything like that. Um, the quality of this product and the price of it is probably better than almost any home brewed uh, sea salt spray out there. You get quite a lot of product, four ounce jar versus three ounces or eight ounces, but instead of paying $30, you're paying half that price. And so it's shipping's a little bit less, things like that. Probably one of the best home brew texture sprays to start out with. You're getting a quality product, decent price. And as I said, this is an excellent one. Uh, we loaded it up, got tons of texture. Now the hair does look dry. I don't mind that at all. That's exactly what I want to be able to add another product and complete the package. Now if I wanted to go out like this for the rest of the day, no problems. So overall, Root and Muddles Texture Spray, a quality product that gets my seal of approval. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and that it was worth your time for watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, and we'll be coming again with some more videos. See you guys later.